The first call of the new year for the Eaton Rapids Fire Department was for one of their own. A firefighter and his family got away from the flames, but everything inside their home was lost. As Susan Alcori reports, the department wants to use their story to help other families. Three minutes later, and you found three bodies in the house. Thomas Stewart and his fiance are trying to pick up the pieces after their house burned down on New Year's Day. The first thing that ran through my body was fear. You know, you'd never expect to wake up and your house is covered in smoke. The couple says they were asleep early Thursday morning with their two month old daughter in the room. But they say they didn't know the fire they left burning the night before had gotten out of control. With the fireplace next to their bedroom, the family left through a window. Came straight to the station with my wife and baby and got my gear on and took off. Went back to the house and, you know, tried to save the neighbor's house and save my house. It took four departments over three hours to put out the flames. Ran to the station and, and got on a truck and came out, heard it was a house fire, and uh, didn't realize it was a buddy of mine till, till we got there. Now the family is trying to start over. But without renter's insurance, it's been hard. If you can afford it, you know, get renter's insurance. It'll, you know, it's not going to take the pain away, but it's going to help, you know, hopefully replace a lot more things than we're unfortunately not, you know, able to do. And Stewart hopes other families will install smoke detectors and set up a fire escape plan. Don't know what the next step is. You know, I don't, they don't really train you on what happens after your house burns down. We're, you know, we're more worried about. Everybody else. But they're just happy their family wasn't hurt. Even when you have nothing, you still have everything because that's all that matters in life. In Eaton Rapids, Susan L. Corey, Fox 47 News. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help the family. If you want to donate or check it out, we have a link to it. Just visit fox47.com and click on this story.